Hi, I'm Melissa, and I'm at AQS Quilt Week Des Moines 2013, and I'm here with Karen Barr, who was our third place winner for uh, bed and hand quilting. And Karen, this quilt was made for your daughter and son-in-law. Did they choose the pattern, or how did you come up with this particular pattern for them? Uh, they chose this pattern, Shoreline Log Cabin, out of Judy Martin's book. And uh, as I told Melissa, I did not want to make this quilt. I was just recovering from the Snake River log cabin out of the same book that had 4,200 pieces in it, and this has 7,600. And they chose dots, stripes, and a touch of 30s prints. And so I started collecting those. It took quite a while to find all of those. And then it took another, this was in the fall of 2011, and then uh, you, you follow the instructions very closely. All the pieces start out with one and a half inch strips. The longest is three and a half inches and then it goes down to three-fourths of an inch. Oh wow. And some of those three-fourths of an inches are like right here's one. <laughs> and sometimes they get swallowed up into the quilt when you're uh, putting it together. Quilting. So it was machine pieced and then I asked her if I could have it machine quilted and she says no because <laughs> I'm a hand quilter yes. so uh, it was another challenge to once you got it all together and the individual small blocks go into a bigger block and it's hard to see up close you have to get away at a distance to see the overall flow of it and there's a wedding ring design in this but the block is all a log cabin block and it's it's different ways of doing log cabins but when you get one big block together, you have this uh, pattern here going. So all through the center, you have your darks, and then you have the light. I call them petals. They mm -hmm. look like flowers to me, right. but it's actually a, a wedding ring design. Oh, wow. And then around the border, you see the lighter ones with the dark uh, petal, or whatever you want to call it. So what was your hardest or biggest challenge with the quilt? Uh, I think just keeping it all together, but when you get going, you start doing all your same blocks, you know, until they're all done, and then you do the next block, and the next one is usually reversed from the first one, and then just putting it all together, and then getting it laid out so everything is going right, you know, and I don't have a wall that I put it on, I just do it on the floor, and uh, the best thing about this quilt was putting the label on, which means it's done. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand that. And how long did it take you to do 7,600 pieces? Well, I just finished this summer. Oh, wow. So from October or uh, fall of 2011, when I started collecting that until uh, summer of 2013. So has your daughter at all had this no, quilt? No, no. So and she... I had asked her if she wanted it or if, because I was going to put it in the state fair I put it in a, a local quilt shows uh, uh, in July, and then it got accepted for Des Moines, and then our local quilt guild will have their show in March. Mm -hmm. So after March, they'll get it. So <laughs> they've been married since when? February of 2012. So two years later, yeah. they'll, get, they'll finally get their quilt. Right. Well, thank you, Karen, for taking well, some time. It was very interesting hearing about you. this. Thank you. And, and congratulations. Well, thank you.